Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another special episode of the Rough Night Movie Podcast. I'm Allison, and here to say a few things before we get started. Now for this episode, this isn't the start of season five. No, this is a special episode because we have a very special movie that we're ready to talk about. Hello, remember Fast and Furious? Yeah, me too, every damn day of my life. And you know what movie just came out? The Hobbs and Shaw movie. I had to think of the name because I'll be honest, I kind of forgot their 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 names in the movie, and that's the title of the movies. Their names together in one. That's the title. Their names. I don't know their names. It's Hobbs and Shaw. I do know. I remember now. Yes, we do a review on this movie, and let me say a few things before we dive in. Number one, um, the if you haven't noticed the previous episodes. Because we are doing it on Discord and because my internet is shite, uh, it's not clear on their ends. Or I'm sorry, it's not clear for them on my end. Does that make sense? Like I jump in and out. So we say a lot of what? What was that? Uh, And uh, it may not sound as clear or as smooth as previous episodes. We will be figuring out how to fix that. And by we, I mean me. I have to do that because it's something on my end. So I do apologize for that. Also, I was hella tired. So um, not only was um, there a lot of just what, uh, a lot of what I'm saying is like, on what? Um, because the whole thing was like a fever dream. We're just fucking tired but excited to talk about this movie. And, um, you know... The content is still A plus quality. <laughs> what, what? I mean, really? What would you expect? No, it's um, it's a fun episode. It's a fun time. I always enjoy talking about anything Fast and Furious related. So I was so happy to see this movie and to find it enjoyable. Um, one person though did not find it enjoyable. Can you guess who? Or not didn't find it enjoyable, but just didn't like it. So uh, we talk about our different opinions on that. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, Rough Podcast is our Twitter handle. And you can also email us at roughnightpodcast. It's at gmail.com. We want to be more interactive with you. So please do not be afraid to literally send us a junk email. We want to, we, we, we just want it. We just want the email, man. Give it to us. Anything. We'll read it on the air. Um, I hope you enjoy this episode and, uh, enjoy. I am a record. I'm a recordy boy. <laughs> just, just call me, um, Tom recordy. <laughs> mm. I will not ever call you that. How come no one has come up with? How come Weird Al Yankovic hasn't come up with an album album called The Recordian? <gasps> wow! Because it's because uh, yeah. it's dumb. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one to say I it. I thought but... it was. I thought it was kind of clever. So, <laughs> fuck me. I'll teach you to laugh at something. Where do you get off? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Oh, my hands are hurting. We haven't Mm. done that in a while. It's not been too hard. Ow! Ooh. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. Allison, do you want to lead us in? Yes. (laughs) Hello! (laughs) And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rough Night Movie Podcast. I'm Allison. I'm Jonas. And I'm, um, today? No. Today I am... (gasps) I can't look at your face. I'm... You're a whole new being. Baby face. What? I I can't look at Baby face, Kyle. Well, uh, Well, Allison, I didn't hear you. Is the problem. You don't need to. Yeah, no, still not. Internet internet problems again. Isn't aren't you where you've got good internet? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's Discord. That's always your excuse, Allison. Don't it's the only Discord. thing I can think of. 
How dare you? Discord, she did not mean that. How I apologize. Um Discord, I love you. Who do you what do you, who do you have for internet? Hmm? Comcast. Was it Comcast? Because it's probably not, because Comcast would be delivering high yeah. internet speed. High right speed. Now. Well, I'm high and on speed, and this Comcast sucks, so. Do they have fiber optics in Connecticut yet? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, that's the problem. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. What What? Uh, what service do you pay for? The lowest. Allison. Allison! I, it's one more spoonful. Let me live. <laughs> you didn't even finish the whole spoon. You, like... Lick the top I got of part of it. Are that... God damn it! It's Are one you, more. I mean, we haven't all... we haven't recorded so long, and Allison's falling into old habits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating my dinner at one thirty a.m. at at one thirty in the morning. I haven't eaten today. Actually, that's a lie. What? I haven't eaten that much. Jeez, oh, <laughs> hold on. I hear her. I hear her just doing one of these. <laughs> so. So time back in. <laughs> we'll, we'll, yes, I was so, eating yogurt. <laughs> yes, okay, let me live. So, so let's try this again, Allison. Lead us in again. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rough Night Movie <laughs> Podcast. I'm Allison. I'm Jonas. And I'm I'm Fast Boy Cow. Fast boy, Kyle. Why are you so fast today? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's running fast. He's, oh my god. Whoa. You can't even he's, see him. That's how fast. He's he is. like a ch- Kyle doing this is like a child that's just like, look how fast I am. <laughs> that's just like a, that's runs. literally what he is. <laughs> that's exactly what he is. Uh, guys, and what it's are been we a here while. to talk about today? Guys, um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, if you if you're a big fan of the show, you listen to our first couple episodes that we did, the Fast and the Furious, because Alice, that was that's what Allison wanted to talk it about. It was that's, my dream. Uh, that's what the show started out as. It was gonna be a Fast and Furious podcast, and then we're like, let's keep the train running. And so, uh, uh, four almost four seasons later, and ain't no one still listening. <laughs> <laughs> people are listening we got listeners out there hey you you over there you're listening right he's Wait, pointing can you, to literally would, would no you listen one. stop take off those headphones over there yeah you listen to us we're talking right now he's okay pointing. that guy's listening to us now who's is <laughs> just really just, i'm trying to i'm playing a bit guys hey, a bit is you know, <laughs> this <laughs> explain, explain um to me. anyways it's been a while uh guys so we you know, the Fast and Furious franchise was the first franchise we ever covered. And there was a movie that came out that dealt with this franchise. Allison, and what it was, was that movie called? Um, it was called Calvin and Hobbes. Yes. And mm, that's it, what it was. And it it was about a fun childhood pair. A childhood like of the fruit? Yes. Yeah, fruit pair? And they get into some tr- into some trouble because they find out the one of them is actually allergic, and so oh, no. and so when he's he's eaten he there's a scene um, where he's eating this pear, and then they're like, his glasses, his glasses aren't on. Where are his glasses? That's, that's no, Allison. That's my girl. Don't you take that away from my girl. All right. And then I, dare I cried. You. And you know what? He wasn't allergic. He got stung by a bunch of bees. I never saw the movie. I just know when the girl's like, his glasses. And that's like supposed to be really sad. Well, yeah, because he always wore his glasses. And, and then, then during the was... funeral, they didn't put his glasses on him. What? A... That, that's really fucking dumb. He's going to need those when he goes into like the afterlife. Like, how's he supposed yeah, to see? Yeah, who does that? <laughs> How's he supposed to see in the dark, you know? Yeah. Anyway, Anyways, so guys, we watched we're... this movie. Someone else want to say the name because I actually forgot what the name is. The, it's it's called The Fast and Furious Presents. Yeah. Kyle? Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> That's was a that, good accent. Was that Vin? Uh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was Vin Diesel. Vin! Vin Diesel! I can't How come you weren't in this you, movie? <laughs> What'd you say, Elson? I can't look at you. I don't know who you are. No, it's a good thing. It's just, you know what you remind me of? Can I take another time out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Time out. 
My, when I was younger, my sister, she had braces for like five years. And then when she got them out off, I was so scared of her because I was like, who are you? But like, she looked good. But I was like, I do not know who you are. So I, <laughs> she chased me around the house and I'd be so scared. <laughs> <laughs> She'd so be like, she ah! like, and that's what so you Kyle remind me like of because I'm like, oh my god, you look so different. It's not bad, but I'm like, wow, your face, like you're moving your mouth and you're talking, but I'm like, I do not know who you are. Well, yeah, you haven't explain why you haven't been able to see my mouth for <laughs> ever. I've never, I've never known you with the mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he shaved. Yeah, everybody, everybody, <laughs> I shaved. And okay, when this episode comes out. You might know why. You, you won't. You won't know why. You, you, you might. might know why? You might know why. Okay. Well, before we get into that, let's let's get into our pizzy posies, I guess. Ooh, pizzy pot. I had a good one. Because we've been busy, busy bodies for the pizzy potties, Ooh. and I still think it's a dumb idea. <laughs> well, you can go to jail then. I know. You won't. You. You can't call me been there done that all right bitch oh shit what's your inmate number a <laughs> a one a i was the first one in jail so it's... Mm. so in your face oh uh oh uh oh <laughs> anyways as you can tell. so what are um what do you guys have positive wise? Ashley, you want to kick it off? I would like to kick it off. So I have been secretly dog sitting, house sitting my boss's place. For Bill Gates. Yeah, Bill Gates is my boss, and oh boy, he's got a, a lot of moving parts. Um no so a boner? <clears throat> oh. My boss, they live they they live on my bosses, because they're married to each other. They live like on a like <laughs> acres of land, nice farmland, barns and shit, and like a bunch of a garden, and it's just it's such a lovely, lovely place. And they have goats, mm-hmm. and they have dogs, and cats, and chickens, and it's been a blast taking care of them. So today, what I didn't have to go into work until four o'clock. Mm-hmm. So all day from morning until like three thirty, I spent outside. With all of the dogs and the cats and the goats and the chickens just walking around their yard. And I went to their garden and I picked like every vegetable that was ripe enough for me to pick. Because they said I could do that. And I have like probably 80 tomatoes now. Hell yeah. That I will. I So yeah, I was eating with hummus because I was like, this is pretty fucking dope. <clears throat> and it was just beautiful. And I was just like it alone in like a farm or on a farm with these animals taking care of them. And I got a du- like, I mean, they, they these chickens have been like popping up a dozen eggs per day. So I have like eggs mm. I'm giving away to people. And I'm, oh, it was just such a glorious day. And it fe- I felt so good. And I was listening to an NPR podcast about how great nature is and how vitamin a is so important for you and your mm. mental health and i'm like i feel that Tuh. so i, I feel like that. i feel like every vitamin should be important for you right no 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 <sighs> what vitamin isn't important vitamin d we don't need the uh, d no you need vitamin d for your skin spread the the cum on your face on your skin <laughs> I was going to say face, but <laughs> that's obvious. Mm, yeah, that's just a given. That's a given. Um, Kyle, what's positive about you this this week? This, this Since we last talked. Well. Mm-hmm. Allison, quit laughing at my face. <laughs> Go on. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit. Because for the past several weeks, I have been enjoying a weekly thing that I have not done in a very long time. What's that? I've been doing a weekly D&D session, baby. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Does your character have a big-ass dick? No, <laughs> she does not. Oh. Well... She could if she wanted. She Prob- could, but she Probably. doesn't. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> well, there you go. What's the best response? Well, okay. Well, that's it. Uh, is it is it a humanoid type character? Is it a dragon like your D and D character with us? No, or? she's a tiefling. A tief? What is that? I don't know. What it's that like is. a demon. She's mm. like a demon lady. She's all red and she, and she got Sounds she hot. got horns and she's super hot. Does she fart fire? No, she's a demon. She, she will oh. now. Roll a d twenty. Well, <laughs> she's not. <laughs> she doesn't sound like a demon to me. <laughs> Um, doesn't sound like a demon I haven't met. But, you yeah, know, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm playing with... Uh, so it's me and the DM are the only people who have played before. And uh-huh. everyone else is new. Um, oh, okay. And it's really... It's, it's a lot of fun. And, and it's really... Um, oh, yeah. So it's it's really nice because ev- uh, all but two of us, me and one other person, all, all live in that house. So sessions are super mm-hmm. easy. We just head over there, and they're all already there already. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just it's just a really nice setup, and I'm super excited because we have a really cool storyline, and my character's super cool, and she's got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I'm really happy Sounds for you. Sounds good. Thanks. Sounds good. you're so you're being so adorable about it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move I think on. that was Jonas's positive. It's just him, like looking at you, smiling, like, "Aw, <laughs> it's cute." Like, he, yeah, like Kyle without his beard, he's like looking very adorable right now. It's like, <laughs> I, I can't help but, I can't help but look. I didn't know that the sides of your mouth, when you smiled, like curved, and I'm like, I'm. This is like yeah. I'm discovering you for the first time. <laughs> hey guys, I'm like trying to. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to like picture old school Kyle when from the YouTube videos that we watch. <laughs> and, and well, like like yeah. I said, because you guys were asking, I sent uh, I sent uh, these two pictures, um, and they were asking how I felt, and I was like, it's like seeing someone that you've like seeing like an old friend, because like uh-huh. I know I've I know all these features, and they're like in the right spot, but it's like different. Mm-hmm. So older. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, let's talk about Hobbs and Shaw. Uh-uh. Uh, not this time. <laughs> not this week, bitch. <laughs> you were so close. <laughs> we do it one time. I, 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 I yearn for that day that I don't have to do a positive <laughs> again. Um, well, you've had like a month. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything positive has happened in my life. Yes, a, a, a positive did happen, and I know what. I did. Wait, unless it happened <laughs> guys, last time I recorded. Guys, I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> so, if uh, if the Sanderson sisters wanted to come back, I I don't ha- I can't light that candle. I can't light the black candle. That Wait, is, I love that reference, because it's almost Halloween soon, so. <laughs> Uh, but Jonas. no, I, I, guys, I lost my virginity a long Jonas. time ago. Like I was, I was, yeah, what's up? Was it your butt virginity? No. <sighs> I lost that when I was 10. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh. <laughs> no, I, um, I got a new, I got a new job. Yes. I got, well, not, uh, not a new job. I got a promotion. Yes. That's what I was going to say. Cause I didn't, I didn't remember if you, if it happened after we, after the last episode or if it had, if you talked about it already. It def, definitely happened after the last yep. episode. Um, so I've been working at 24 hour fitness for about a year, almost a year now. Um, and they wanted to move me up like through two months after I had started, but Brag had about working it. there at least. Yeah, but they had to like you had to be working there for at least three months. But it's good that I I I waited that long because then I got to meet the our AGM that we had we did hire, and she showed me more stuff that I I needed to learn. So I brought that over. Um, the way that twenty four hour fitness works is that you have to move to a different gym to a uh, to a promotion. Then if you want to get promoted again, you have to move to a different position uh, to a different gym. So you get like a feel of different gyms and stuff like that. Um, I, uh, I got, uh, so it, what I am, what I was, was a service expert and then there's a service expert lead. There's a super service expert supervisor, AGM, uh, assistant general manager, then general manager, and then, you know, DM region, regional manager kind of like that. But, uh, so the position I went from was a service expert to su- service expert supervisor. So I skipped a role 
because they don't need a lead at the the gym I was at. So I have, I'm closer to being AGM stuff like that. Oh, um, but it's it's a good position. I got it's it's a 40 minute drive, which is different from my five minute drive. <laughs> Uh, but I get $5 pay raise and, um, I get benefits, I get vacation, stuff like that. And I'm a department head, so. Ooh. Do you get, do you get insurance? What? Do I get what? Insurance? Do you think co insurance? No. Yeah, I do. I get, I get, I actually do get insurance. No, he was okay, asking you if you get pussy. That's, that's what benefits are. Did you, did you just ask if pussy. he's insuring that pussy? He's asking you if you get pussy. Is what do you? Well, you get pu- not with my coworkers because that would be illegal. What? It's not illegal if. What would be illegal? It's not illegal if you don't tell anybody. Uh, <laughs> pussy. I, you won't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm not gonna date any of my coworkers because they're all super young. Oh. But think of the pussy. But, what's... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't either. Uh, would you date? Would you date me? What? <laughs> I just heard. Hey, we do, we do, we. <laughs> I asked if you would date me. Would I date you? Oh, yes, of course. We're not. You're not my coworker. Uh, which uh, bearded me or sh- uh, shave face me? Hmm? Actually, shave face you is pretty cute. So I holler. Make a smile. I <laughs> don't. Uh, well, awesome. Uh, I, we're proud yeah, of you, thank Jonas, you. baby. Thank, I thank, am very thank proud you. of you. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, it will be easier for me to travel if I if we ever do a live show. Oh. That would be very exciting. Yes, because we're we're so close to that milestone. <laughs> We should, but we should do a live show anyway, and just have Chris Anthemum and like my mom come, and Rex, and George. Well, he'll be the guest. We'll all well, be we guests. Get, well, is Chris is Chris isn't a guest? Yeah, she will be. They're just there. They're like yeah. in the crowd. Yeah. That's they're just the one person in the crowd too. Chris that would be enough for me. Can be. There, hmm? yeah. Wow, deep thought. That there are our cryptid um, expert for no reason. We just have an cryptid expert on stage. Yeah. Even though we don't talk about cryptids. Um, yeah. Uh, but we could do a we, Rex and I could do a, also a universal Corey Rex and Jonas show like right after the Rough Night movie podcast show. <laughs> and then we'll be That's then we'll then you'll have two guests <laughs> or three guests. Yeah. <laughs> And then, but and, anyways, and guys, then Allison and I will start our own podcast right after it. Yeah. Oh, what was what's that one? And Allison, tell tell him about it. Um. Well, I wanted to keep a secret. Um. So why don't? But it, since it's your podcast, your idea, I think you should be the one to to really share <laughs> it. Right, because this one's yours. Yeah. So. Yeah. The one that uh, just Allison and I, uh, we. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We guys, we talk about good legs. Good legs. Yeah, it's a it's a good leg podcast. Daddy long What's it leg called? is what it's not called, but I thought about it. It's what? What'd you say it's called? Did you say what Daddy it's called? Lo- Daddy long leg. Mm. I like it. I didn't mm-hmm. hear it, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was great. I'm gonna be honest, Alice. I would I would call it one podcast to stand on, like one leg to stand no, on. I, no, I yeah, I got it. <laughs> I, did, I did this thing. I did this little. Mm-hmm. And for listeners mm-hmm. who did not hear that because there was no sound, mm-hmm. it was him uh, doing. And I oh lo- oh that was a perfect yeah that was the best way to explain it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll talk about the movie Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> guys, go see this movie. It's an amazing movie. It's I got to tell you, I love fantastic. this movie. I loved it. Kyle, tell us what you think about this movie. Oh, man, you guys. It's just like a movie, you know? 
Uh huh. And what are your feelings towards this movie? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, he, he left. left. <laughs> so he's I gone. Will speak for him. He thought he I loved it. He it was good. That's what he would say. Oh, is he back? Kyle, Kyle what are you doing? His beard comes back. <laughs> <laughs> doing the egg face. <laughs> <laughs> he did the egg thing again. Uh, Yeah, I didn't like it. Why? Why? Why did you like it? What's wrong with you? Are you... Are you... Who hurt you? Um... Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham hurt me. Okay. Are you lying to us right now, or are you making a joke? Because this can't be the truth. No. Wait, what? You hate no. <laughs> You did not exactly. I got confused you. Is that... You didn't like it? No, I actually did not like it. You really didn't what, like what, it? What, are, what? Can you give us three reasons? Um... Um... It's not my type of movie. You think it's mine? What? Never mind. Go on. She said you think it's mine? <laughs> uh, I don't know. If you like it, I would assume so. It's not my kind of movie. But okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I, 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 I just, I don't like this kind of movie that, you know, dumb, mindless action <sighs> Blockbuster. Did you like any? Did you like any of the uh, Fast and Furious movies? The first, the the second one. Isn't that just a dumb, mindless action movie? No, there's actually like story and stuff. There's story to this. There's a there's a uh, uh, a disease. It's underlined story about family. It is. There's there. They can ne- so I figured this out. It's not it's not a Vin Diesel thing. It's a whole Fast and Furious thing that has to do with family. Right. Oh, I honestly like, never made that like connection. That, yeah, that's the connection. That the the characters are not the connection of Fast and Furious. It's family. Mm. Mm. Here's the thing. I'm not busting your balls if you whether or not you liked the movie or not. Uh, I mm-hmm. am just honestly surprised because I thought this movie was so much fun and I was like, this is very cool and exciting and it was a lot and I thought you would like it. I thought it was, you know, very lighthearted. You um as well. You can't the I, I will never be a fan of the plot device of or the the, the, the main um the main conflict of the movie to be uh-huh. that the world's going to end. We'll never be a fan of that because the world's not going to end. That's just not how a movie's going to end. You <laughs> So you don't yeah. like any Bond movie? Uh, not really. There was There's... a Nicolas Cage movie where um a solar flare did end the world. And it ended knowing? with him going into the, with, with family. Yeah. Yeah, knowing. Yeah. That that movie did the world did end in that one so yeah spoiler alert <laughs> well a a fast and the furious movie is not going to end with the world well ending. that's because they're so good at what they do exactly. so you know what the ending is going to be so there is no there's no tension you know that they're going to yeah there's no and there's also no uh what's the word I'm looking for uh, consequence right <sighs> so. That's, I mean, that's the whole point of the movie is just to have a lighthearted action movie, just to see cool action things like Idris Elba getting on his motorcycle that's that's driving towards him. Yeah. He's it's Black Superman, guys. Idris Elba in general. Was yeah, nice. Idris Elba in general. Oh, Vanessa Kirby also. Oh, my God. I'm so in love. Oh, wait. Who's, did we want... <laughs> Vanessa Kirby? Did we, anybody, did we watch the same movie? Anybody want to do a uh, synopsis? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kyle, I'm trying to remember if I could. I'll try to do it. We can, we can, we can try and three part it if some if anybody's no. missed information. Yeah, I'll I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Here we go, and it all starts off. 
with uh, some guys. They're trying to steal some stuff in the in this base, this in this big yellow room because of the lighting. <laughs> and uh, there's a uh, there's a couple military people, uh, all men except for one woman. She's a who lady. Is the, She's a lady. That means she's strong and powerful and independent, and she don't know. She don't have to. No, do she's what much any weaker than everyone do. else on the squad. No, she's not physically. I have no say or opinion in this matter. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, these uh, <clears throat> these are people that work for MI five, I believe. I think that's what they said. Yes. Yeah, MI five, and they are disrupting this bit robbery that's going on. They stop it. They just they uh, capture all the bad guys there, and then they find that there is a briefcase with this uh, nanotechnology disease that it can be uh, activated with a code so that it can uh, kill certain people. The certain people weak. The weak, basically, and the and, old. I think. Yeah, and it it would go basically just ev uh basically pushing evolution into into killing the 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 weakest of the weak uh, and the strongest survive. Very evolution kind of thing going on. Um, as they as they find this briefcase, um, a, a motorcyclist comes in, kills everyone there, and it's Idris Elba looking sexy as hell. Allison is like falling asleep at her knee. I talk about Idris Elba. She wakes up immediately. <laughs> um, I mean, he's, and, he's gonna wake up anybody. Let's be honest. And um, she honestly, there there was a great line that one of the he delivers this line so well where he was like, um, they're like, who are you? He's like, bad guy. And then he like kicks all their ass. He finds Vanessa Kirby. He tries to attack her. She tries to drive away. He stops the truck. She sees her. Um, she sees her opportunity to get away by putting the disease in her blood. She has about forty eight hours to forty out to fifty hours to um, uh, get rid of it or stop it before it ki- it becomes airborne and it kills she has everybody. to destroy herself. Or, or destroy the thing, or just get it out of her. Or take get get a, get it out of her blood. Yeah, she just gotta get it out of her blood. Yeah. So we meet the rock. Um, w- the next scene we see is the rock and Jason Statham waking up in their own prospective places. London uh, and Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah, and they are. Um, I guess the rock. Uh, the rock is still working for the government because he, even though he said in in Fate of the Furious he was quitting to be with his daughter. Well, he he uh, said that he was done in this one too because he didn't want to take the job from uh, surprise Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, but oh, no, yeah. but he does he does take one kind of job where he he gets that guy at the tattoo parlor. Oh yeah. So that's so that's the thing. Like Jason Statham and and the Rock both get calls about getting these two guys or getting information from these two guys and they do um and then that shows how it's a contrast compare and contrast of like their different characters then we get to uh ryan reynolds meeting the rock and showing him hey this is we have this go thing going on i need your help he's like no yes you, uh, please do this and it's a very good comedic exchange then um jason statham is met by a guy from deadpool who played peter the guy with the mustache. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Deadpool too, and um, he convinces him that his sister is in trouble, and we they need your help. Allison is is tired. I'm she, sorry. She is fall- literally falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Allison. Uh, I'm sorry. Speed it up, Johnny. Speed then, it up. So, I'm trying. I'm trying. So, anyways, uh, Hobbs and Shaw uh, are are tasked with taking down uh, Idris Elba, uh, and they are reluctantly uh, working with each they other. They don't want to do getting, it. They don't want to do it. Vanessa and then uh, Vanessa Kirby, who is who we find out is the sister of Shaw, is um, in trouble and she needs to find a way to get it out. They find the professor that did that worked on it. They said she either has to die by fire or she needs this machine that needs to take it out, which is in the center of Aegis Elba's base. Um, they are able to get that machine, get out, and then they try to find a way to get uh, get it out, but it stopped working. So the rock takes. Uh, uh, the Shaws to his they home broke in the Samoa. the extraction machine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, he takes them to Samoa because he knows one engineer that would help them. It's his brother, but he has beef with his brother Ugh. because he... 
Martin because his Turner. brother, his whole family were like criminals, but he, he turned his left. dad in. He, he turned his dad in, and then he left. And then how um, dare someone leave this criminal organization yeah. of our family? <laughs> hey, it's remember, it's all about family, dude. Um, and the sh- the brother fixes it, the sh- and the uh, the Shaws and the Rock like set up this um this elaborate uh base of operations so that they can <coughs> fight uh, Idris Elba's uh, goons and it, it's a great fight scene um, they end up fighting uh, Idris Elba, The Rock and Jason Statham end up fighting the, uh, Jason, uh, Idris Elba who is uh, enhanced with robotics and can see every punch but they don't see the punch that he can't see <gasps> he can't see a punch he can't see so that's how they defeat him and then he's killed by this unknown voice um and uh, then they they fi- they bring they become family, uh, and that's it. It's like I have no need for you, and he shuts him off and he falls off a cliff. Yeah. Yes. But then, he's like, but then he's like, but then he's like, but he's like, but he's like, but he's like, you know who I am. And who do you think it is? I thought it was Ryan Reynolds. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna I, lie. Me to too. Uh, me too. No, you know who it is. I know who it is. You do. I know who it is. Who is it? It's Charlie Theron. It could be. I'm not gonna lie. It could oh, be. Oh, that makes sense. Um, did you guys see the the post credit scenes? Y- no. Mm, yes, I, there I are two post credit scenes. What? Well, yes, the one where Ryan Reynolds is like in the middle of oh. killing people, and then the one where he where he kill where he like he's like I I got blood on me. Yes. It's I'm I'm di- yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds was actually really good in this role. He was. He was I really great. liked him. Yeah, but like. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it for the most part, but he he just he plays he does the same bit. He does. He does. He does. In every movie, which is, I mean, it's if like you a find Jim your Carrick, niche, Carrie character, do it. It's, you know, yeah, it's he this, has it's this like, like, Tom, like it's like Tom Cruise now. Like when you watch a Tom yeah. Cruise movie, you know you're gonna watch Tom Cruise. Nowadays, if you watch a yeah. Ryan Reynolds movie, you're gonna get Ryan Reynolds. There was one. There's only one Tom Cruise movie, uh, Tom Cruise role that caught me off guard because I didn't know it was him until later on. Tropic Thunder. And that Tropic Thunder. Yep. That was such a good role. <laughs> um, Step but back. no, I literally I, fuck your own face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, was that is that a quote or were you just really upset? I was very angry, but uh, uh, specifically at you, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I could fuck my face, I would. But there were there were a bunch of cameos in here. There was, I mean, Allison. <laughs> we, all, we we all would fuck your face if we could, with your consent, uh, of course. Um, uh, but there were a lot of good cameos in here. It was Ryan Reynolds, the guy from Deadpool two. I forget what his name is, but he played Peter. And there was also um, Kevin Hart. Oh which yeah, I didn't, that yeah. The Kevin Air Hart surprised me. Yeah. I didn't need the Kevin Hart cameo. <laughs> you didn't. I don't know. I just I don't like Kevin. I don't like Kevin Hart as much as other people do. Like I when don't... he came on screen, people were cheering. And I was like, why? I think because you weren't expecting weird? Kevin Hart, and you're like, oh, this guy's fun. You know what it is with you're this. He's around too much. What? No, I was that's I was I was guessing what your answer was. Oh, so with this movie, I think the appeal uh. of it is that it's so self aware that it's like this, like this, this just hokey manly car movie or whatever and yeah. uh you know action packed blah 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 blah. but the the fact that they're adding like so many funny elements that i don't know it just they mm. surprised me i guess i really enjoyed myself and it kind of hit all the right spots of like yeah we're self-aware but we're also good at what we do and we're gonna we're gonna do the best of it, I guess. In my in my opinion, so to go back with like the whole Kevin Hart thing, it mm. was like all of these new things that are happening. Like you weren't expecting Kevin Hart, but it just made sense. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's what I gotta say about that. Um, oh. I mean, there were definitely funny bits. Yeah. Um, I ain't, there was one ain't gonna lie. Go there was one bit I was like. Why'd you put that in? Like, this is only fan service for people that really are, like, paying attention. And it was um, the Italian job mm-hmm. reference. Yeah. But but the thing is, like, he... So he um, he points to a car 
that is um that is a uh, uh, what is it? Is it Mini Cooper? Mini Cooper, yeah. Uh, Mini Cooper, and he goes. Got and he specifically points that one out because it's the one that stands out the most. And he goes, "Got that one when I was uh, did a job in Italy." Yeah. But the thing is, he Whoa, didn't have that, that was a car. Great accent. <laughs> Thank you. The thing is, what like about in the movie, mine, Italian, I see. Oh, st- oh no! <laughs> what about mine? The thing is, in the good. Italian no, job, good. in the Italian job, he did not use the Mini Cooper. In, in in Italy, he used it in Los Angeles. Uh uh, we're gonna have to fire Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> That's unforgivable. It's not unforgivable. I just they, 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 there's too much fan service yeah. for that. Yeah, so it was it would made no sense if you're. I mean, if you really love the movie Italian Job, uh, you would have been like, "What? That makes no so, fucking sense." But, so I went and saw this with my mom. Uh-huh. And uh, and she was like, "Oh, Jason Statham." No, no, she goes. <laughs> just sitting there and not much reaction like up until this point that part comes and she goes oh Italian job uh-huh. but she's not a big fan because she would have known that she he didn't use that no she's not yeah, <laughs> yeah. sounds like a sounds fake like a fan fake fan me. to me I'll tell her I'll tell her that you said so okay. I'd like okay, I'd good. like you to right. tell her by name I will say, Allison says you're a fake gamer I, girl. I didn't. I didn't. Hey, I didn't. I didn't say that. And if she were she, a yeah. gamer girl, I'm sure she would play like Call of Duty or um, Animal Crossing or whatever. You know. Mm. I'm shaking my head no, furiously no. now. <laughs> so, uh, so what do you guys think about um, about uh, Idris Elba's character? Um, that's pretty cool. He, he's pretty cool. the epitome of just a really good, cool, hot bad guy. You know what it is. And you I'm, know who. You know. You know what it is. What is it? He was. He was black. It's like uh, it's the situation of like uh, the Rock's character uh, initially to the Fast and the Furious franchise. Like I could see Idris Elba's oh. character coming on and like being a good guy or like doing something with shops and uh shops shops and ha yeah well the thing is like that's what they do with their bad guys <clears throat> like look at look at shaw right that's what he, that's what i'm saying yeah yeah he was a literal bad guy yeah. um and i feel bad but, for him uh, like he just he almost got killed and then he was like okay cool i'll be turned into the next robocop and then he turns to the next robocop and he's controlled by like some unseen force and then the unseen force is like you got to get your friends to be robocop parts two and three and he's like yeah. i don't know if they're gonna want that and then the voice is like well you're gonna do it or i'm gonna uncharge your your butthole charger and he's like yeah. oh shit <laughs> i need that in yeah. order to survive because my spine is <sighs> you know kind of important yeah and then they're like no nah, i'm not gonna join your robocop team and he's like shit um i don't have a choice you have to do it and he's like i k- tried killing you and you didn't die and i'm not <laughs> trying to be friends with you right now or try yeah. to go over your team and he's like yeah. I mean, I would really like to survive for next Christmas because I was supposed to see my, you know, I'm supposed to see a bunch of people that I really like and I would like to survive. And then they're like, nah. And so when um, he, <laughs> when, when they were like, nah, again, over the cliffs and he, he was like, oh, shit. And they pushed him off and the, the mm-hmm. voice turned him off because he couldn't convert <coughs> his friends. Yeah. yeah, you just. And he was losing, he was losing that fight, too. Yeah. Honestly, For sure. Honestly, guys. Honestly, yeah. go be honest. Yeah, he'd be he, honest. Idris Elba's uh, character was the good guy the whole time. Yeah, he How really so? wasn't that bad. Like it was his not really his fault. No, yeah. no, what? No, he also believed in the fact that they should kill a bunch of people. Genocide. That's bad. And I mean. It's all, I mean, we're not weak or old, so we're fine. We would be fine. <laughs> I've been hitting the gym. <laughs> oh. I ate Kyle some just hummus today. So. Um, <laughs> what's that, uh, what's Kyle, that else? Kyle, Kyle, for, uh, flex again real quick. No, I don't. That was my butt. 
Allison left it. <laughs> uh, what were you saying though, Allison? Oh, I was just saying you're you're healthy physically. I'm healthy internally as well because I ate vegetables today. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So. Um. No, but still, genocide is bad. It's like it's like with the with the Sith, the dark side of the Fourth. They're like, we're not that bad, but I'm like, no, you just. Darth Vader literally killed a bunch of people. Jonas. He, like, committed genocide. Jonas. What? He just elbow was getting mind controlled. No, he wasn't. He fully believed he that. Was he was mind just mind controlled by a I, robot lady. I don't think that black Superman would want genocide. Personally, I no. would be like, no, not, he, not he that. Was just he like, rides a motorcycle. He's too hot. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, he he doesn't. He fully believed in the in the cause. His the cause spine of, of being we, hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If bad guys can be hot. That's the whole point about being you a bad guy. Know, if hot. If, if, oh, go ahead. What? I was just singing the 2008 hit song by the One Direction band. Uh-huh. Um, it goes, "You don't know you're beautiful," because I don't think he knew how good looking he was. No, I think he no, knew. He knew. Oh. He said you're Selba. Yeah. I mean, he called himself Superman, which I guess really was uh, uh, referencing his powers. Yeah. Exactly. But like the power of attraction. His the power of his face. (sighs) Yeah. That that Um, little hair curl, the little. Yeah. Imagine he had that hair curl. Um. (laughs) What uh? What do you guys think? Did you think they uh, they kept really in tone with the characters that they have built before already with Hobbs and Shaw? Like, do you think their characters kind of stayed the same? The what? What did you say? What was your question? From what I remember, mm-hmm. yes. Did the did those characters stay the same? I think relatively. Um, yeah, I mean they've been slowly changing their characters over time. Over yeah. the <laughs> over the movies, there was there was a. There was a line in the movie I was co- so confused about because he was like, "You, uh, Jason Statham said, you made me kill my brother. And I was like, wait, no, your brother's still alive because you used him in Fate of the Furious. Unless you had another brother we don't know about that you killed. I don't know. Isn't he talking about I- Idris Elba as his brother? I, no, no, I don't think he is. Cause he, Let's go back to the movie know what was... and check. I don't know. See, that's the that's the thing. I assumed it was it was the album. There were so many weird lines in this movie. Like it's it's a good it's a good action movie, but that at the same time it's like they're just they're just sticking to the action. They're not really there for the 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 dialogue or anything like that. Mm. And like to your point, Kyle, it is a it is just an action movie. Yeah. It's very predictable. Mm-hmm. Um, like with with the Rock and and Vanessa Kirby's character yes they're going to end up together cuz he gave her yeah. the eyes mm-hmm. as the daughter said the eyebrow thing mm-hmm. um the by the way the daughter was great i thought she was great yes. um yeah she did good the whole the whole brothers you know reconciling that was predictable um Jason Statham bringing his sister to jail to visit their mother was predictable. It's it's a very predictable movie. Yeah, but it was it felt good. Yeah, it felt good. Helen Mirren, by the way, gotta love Helen Mirren Ugh. for like doing stuff like this. It's great. I have a question. I uh, that go ahead. And I have a question or a comment that involves deep thinking. And I need an explanation for it, if there is one, okay? Mm-hmm. If that bitch had been infected and it needs yes. to come out of her body in 48 hours, how the fuck do mm-hmm. they do all of that in 48 hours? Including flying to Russia and then, right? Russia? And then flying from Russia to Samoa? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then overnight building some army. Well, you gotta. I feel like mm, well, Samoa is ten hours away. They had thirty hours. Okay, thirty hours. When did they poop? When did they eat? Did well, they the thing is, on the plane. The thing is, time 
time doesn't affect any of these characters or it it's it, distorted yeah uh because the last battle had to take place within what 12 minutes 30 minutes yeah but the, it went from nighttime to day so fast it, like immediately yeah it was like pitch black outside they had to use the the like street lights and as when it started it was daylight out yeah and then it went from that to midday the sun was literally half like halfway in the sky it was like noon and then uh as soon as they went over that cliff thunderstorm pouring down rain everything was soaked yeah yeah so time just it's it's a it's just a construct, you know. You don't really yeah. have to follow it. No, yeah, it doesn't exist. Time, time, time is a man-made thing. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> um, sorry, but yeah, this this whole movie, it within the time frame of the movie, it took five days instead of forty-eight hours. Yeah. You know, again. Who needs to think about time when you're just like doing things, you know? Yeah, exactly. Or you don't money. have time to think about it when you're fucking using your car to trick uh, Idris Elba into flying into a double decker bus. Yep. By the way, that was a cool. That was a cool <laughs> driving scene right there. Uh, car where car fu, car fu, just like gung fu, but with, with cars. cars. Yeah. Yep. I like the part where the where the rock literally grabbed a guy and just slammed him up against the wall as they're driving. I was like, wouldn't that break your arm as well, <laughs> the rock? It's look, he can hold helicopters from landing or from taking off. That's no, oh, that's very true. So. Also, and he, all, when to, when he did that, when he grabbed that uh, guy and slammed him against the wind uh, against the wall, mm. uh, Vanessa Kirby was wet. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> really? she was. She was like, I'm fucking this yeah. dude. She's I like, survive. I love death. Yes. I love death. I love yeah. muscly dudes. You could see I it. love bald, muscly dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, this movie gave me the Scorpion King that I had dreamed of. Oh. Um, that mm. whole scene... At the beginning, when he's like, let's go, or whatever he says, and he's got his weapon, and he's shirtless, and that upward angle where it's like, oh, this shit's powerful, this shit's, he's, 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 he's big, he's big man. Allison's so tired. I'm like, this is Scorpion King right here, baby. Sounds like she said she squirt. Yeah, it sounds like she said. Finally saw Scorpion King. She said you squirted. (laughs) But I saw the sort of squirt, yeah. A squirt. King. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, um, <laughs> what did you uh, what did you think about the final b- battle? The scene? Scorpion King. Within That's the my time new frame, it's such name. a ridiculous notion that it went from nighttime to daytime. Like, what go. was your, your whole thought about the, the fight? If it just like, if I want to watch an anime, I'm gonna watch an anime. Uh huh. All right. Okay. I mean, I liked I it. I liked it. I had I a lot it was of a fun. Great fight scene. That's what these movies. L- that's what these movies are. They're animes. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. literally, you literally have <laughs> a train of cars keeping themselves down on the ground by sheer force of will, I guess, while a helicopter is pulling them over a cliff, and the rock is mm. holding the tailgate and the chain connected to the helicopter Mm -hmm. and somehow the helicopter wasn't lifting him off yeah so you know you're telling me there's something uh, wrong well you know i i could i could get it it's like there's weight to the airplane uh, to the airplane to the helicopter so they can't fly off immediately otherwise they'll crash right isn't that how helicopters work you were in the military you should know I don't, I don't understand anything that you just said. <laughs> I was like, because the car they attached their car to the air to the helicopter, so it was weighted down, and they can't fly away so fast. Uh-huh. So they had to build up that 
momentum to bring them up right. and then another car comes and then they can't go up further and then you also had six cars off of the ground at one time and one car keeping them on the ground while the rest of them well because gra- because gradually they were going up i don't know it's physics i don't know how, uh, <laughs> I don't know how physics incorrect are. physics <laughs> if a majority uh, if a majority of the weight was up and the helicopter was uh-huh. pulling it to the side that one car would not be able to whip all of those cars and the helicopter around the road. Nah. The helicopter, was it, was that, it, it was would, it just... They would be going in the same direction, and that one car that was on the road would have gone off the fucking cliff. No, it's got hella yeah, horsepower. You, for, you forgot that it was just also, there was a big, the biggest Samoan dude in the front seat of yeah. that last car. <laughs> oh, right. That, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then he like punched it. Remember, he was like, "Hey, Pookie, punch it!" I don't know. Yeah, what and that's also. important that's when it. they say punch it. They right, put that's what, yeah, all of the right. weight. The horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Well, on the horsepower, which was four wheel drive. Very. That was a very call back to the Fast and Furious franchise, right there. Would you say they were showing? Awesome. It was. Oh, I just said four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, it's true. You're right. Um. <laughs> but the them them turning on the NOS and then going through the engine yeah. was like a callback to the original Fast and Furious. Um, I thought it was weird that they kept showing the Hobbs customs on every car I that was coming. Like we know, I feel like they're gonna try and make that a thing, right? Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm guessing. I was like, this is this is advertising. Yeah, it's got to be a. Because every thing. car that would obviously every car that's helping them, they built. Take down this, yeah. They built so why why show the Hobbs customs every t- every time a car pulled up, it showed that. Yeah. So. And they were, I don't know. They were they were really showing. They were really advertising Hobbs customs. So I'm I'm assuming eighty percent chance that it's going to be a, a real thing. I feel like you're right. <laughs> Thank you. So. Except it's not really 80% chance. It's, should I say it? S- 69%. 69%. No. Chance. Yeah. Allison, this isn't the porno, okay? You know what that means. Do you guys hear that? You know, you know what that means. Oh, I farted again. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, uh... Yeah, Allison's getting tired. We gotta, we gotta wrap this up soon. <laughs> she's Al- like, Allison's doing this delirious thing where she's just like, I'm really back sorry. I'm then. really not trying. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I know. It's late. It's late. We it's gotta. Right. We we should wrap this up. I mean, we we only did this because, you know, it is the Fr- Fast and Furious franchise, and we really wanted to talk about it while it was still fresh. Yes. Um, so, any any final thoughts on on it? Mm. I liked it. Nope. Allison, any any final thoughts? Uh, I'm kissing. I get kisses. No, I'm good. Uh, you guys. What? Mm-hmm. I'm. 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 I'm t- kisses. I'm t- yeah, give me the kiss. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I I don't know why I put the mic to my you you. to my cheek. Are you kissing uh, the Allison. rock or are you kissing the other guy? I still don't know his name. Is his name Shaw? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Yes. Well, no. You said rock, so the other guy would be Jason Statham. Oh, Jason Statham, yes. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I do. Um, anyways. Uh... I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm sick of these kind of movies. Why? Because there's just nothing to them. It's, wow, look at the explosions. They're going fast. Ha ha. And that's the movie. Ha ha ha. Um, okay, well, uh, so, Kyle, what would you say, um, let's, let's just jump into our, our, uh, our segments. Wait, we'll is- go to a new segment. What's the new segment? The, the new segment is ba, 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 who said it? <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, we have in life things happen. You may not want them to, but they do. Gandalf. What? I said, what is Gandalf? Uh, correct. Um, there is more wisdom in your body than in your deepest philosophies. Oh, um, Bruce, Bruce Lee. Correct. Uh, the key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. Oh, um, Kyle C. Kelly. That's the guy that did, uh, uh, The Art of War. Yes, correct. Uh, we've been betrayed! She took the virus! Uh, that's, <laughs> you, you said that. You guys... You just won one million dollars. Whoa, from our mm-hmm. sponsor, Flushlight? No, from mm-hmm. all of the porn I've been doing. Oh, that's what, that's why your mustache is off. <laughs> it was getting caught up in all the vaginas that I was eating out. <laughs> no, the flavor saver. It just the friction. Yeah. Yeah. They were literally catching fire. Hmm. <laughs> oh, did you call your mustache uh, Hunger Games? Um, nice. Yeah, no, no. Okay. He's thinking about <laughs> it. He's wondering. He was like, damn it, I should have thought of that when I was actually eating them out. Welcome to the Hunger Games, <laughs> anyway. he'd say. And they just squirt. <laughs> Puss, pussy Games, am I right? <laughs> um, all right, guys. Uh <laughs> Uh, so let's get into the our our segment. Um, money, money. Whoa. Okay. Um, what did what did uh, what did you get? Okay. Uh, what do you guys think the budget was for this movie? Ooh, uh, uh. Un peso. Un peso? Huh? Just one peso. I'm going to say a couple more. Okay. How much more? Just a couple. (laughs) So three pesos. Yeah. Well, you're both very, very low if you're going by pesos. I'm closer, right? Then, you get one more, yeah, one more te- uh, I'm, guess. I'm gonna say two hundred million dollars. Say two hundred and fifty million dollars. Kyle, what the fuck? Did you look these up? Yeah, he no. Did. <laughs> it's two hundred million dollars. Wow. Uh, he's doing a dance. He's he's, he's really rubbing happy. your face, Allison. He's rubbing your face. I'm happy that he's happy. You oh Is no, you gotta get this. Oh no, he's rubbing his butt in your face. He's twerking. Let's, uh, so let's do opening weekend. <laughs> what do you guys think it made opening weekend? Did you really fall? No, you didn't. Opening weekend, oh, I'm going to say 95. How much, Allison? 95 million. 95 million. Kyle. I fell! <laughs> okay, well, while you're down there, how much do you think they made opening weekend? I fell down. I fell down on the ground and I hit my butt. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm going to say... I'm going to say... 125. Mm, you guys are both really high. Uh, Fuck you. 65. Mm. I'm completely sober. <laughs> Same, dude. Also, what'd you say? Sixty-five. <laughs> she said she, she said she was high as fuck, dude. No, seventy-five. <laughs> no, you said or sixty-five. I did not say that. They could believe what it. Did you, so, sixty-five million. Did you say sixty-five or seventy-five? Sixty-five. <laughs> I can't hear you. Sixty-five million. Sixty-five. Okay, sixty-five. Kyle. <laughs> I'm, gonna what say, you- I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, 50 million. 
Allison's the closest. She is higher than it, but it is sixty million they made domestically. Okay. Uh, on opening weekend, uh, altogether domestic wise, they made a hundred and seventeen million plus two hundred twenty three million with foreign, uh, making it a three hundred forty million dollar uh, movie. Uh, they did make their much budget back, but by just by a hundred million they beat it that's not a lot i feel like they yeah they're they're not happy i I feel like they probably weren't happy about that uh are you kidding how can the number one movie in the world not make that much jonas (laughs) uh i mean it was it it was it wasn't number one compared to lion king compared to what lion king lion king lion king made more than it Allison, how do you feel about that information? You know, Disney they didn't they don't need it. You're right. <laughs> um, um I okay. you know who does need it? Me. Who? Illumination, because that's who I work for. Is this a self plug? Self plug. That anyways they they uh yeah I got nothing else <laughs> <laughs> okay well anyways that's um that's uh there's not really any uh foreign names right now there's no there's goofs be... no also I'm very tired I am also very tired right now guys let us know um if you're tired down in the comments below. I am tired. Oh, I tired. we got one already. I tired. Feedback. I'm Jonas. <laughs> wow. It is. Also, did you just did you just dad joke yourself? <laughs> you did. No. There was a guy commenting and I dad joke. He just said they'll comment out loud cuz how quickly the comment appeared in the comments below. When you mm. asked for comments, they uh, he, he said it out loud. I mm. saw it. That's very that's very much the truth. Yes. Mm. Mm. Wow. But anyway, yeah. Let us know <laughs> um, if you're more tired than me. Um, <laughs> here's here's the. Uh, it's actually going from from east to east coast to west coast is our is our tired level. Yeah. yeah. Allison's the most tired. I am the second, and Kyle's just like hyperactive over there He's doing fine. push-ups and shaking his booty. Yeah. Yeah, we, you heard us. Yeah, you, Kyle. You must be so nice to have an energy level over two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no. Uh, anyways, let's just jump into the um, what we're enjoying this week. Allison, what are you enjoying this week? Or what have you been enjoying since we last talked? Okay, so um, my girl Yeba released a new song called Where Do You Go? And it's about, it's a song she wrote after her mother died. And it's like basically like, where do you go when you die? And like, will this is it like a memory uh like will i like relive it it's so beautiful and it's so sad and her voice is everything she hasn't even released an album yet she just releases like little song sprinkles or like you know this and that or like songs through other albums you know that she's featured on but oh boy when she releases her album or her ep i'm gonna lose my mind so So basically she just busts out like a bunch of good singles yeah she's so she's already won a grammy it's insane Mm. What about you guys? She won a Grammy. She did. Where you, how do you win grandmas? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Rest in peace, Grandma. I miss you. <laughs> what about you guys? Uh, Kyle, what are you enjoying this week? I'm enjoying things and I like stuff and it. <sighs> So Jonas, what are you enjoying? <laughs> uh, what am I enjoying? I'm enjoying. Oh, I am uh, watching a little thing called Critical Role. Never heard of oh, it. Oh, yeah, I know about that. 
What, Allison? What'd you say? I said I've never heard of it. Ah, it's a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors and they play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. oh Critical awesome. role. It's really good. Uh it's uh they're really good storytellers and they're all very professional voice actors. And by that I mean they do a lot of work, like they voice fucking everything. Um and uh yeah they're just really good at what they do and they really love dungeons and dragons and get really into it and when characters die it physically affects them and it's really great to see and watch and experience and it's good and i love stories and guys stories are good i like stories i like stories too Mm. (laughs) i love that just you could just (laughs) Just by Jonas's, uh, you could just tell that he, he was like, oh, okay, thank God, it's my turn. <laughs> um, so, uh, lately I've been, uh, I just finished um, The OA, um, season the two. and uh, Season dose. Yeah, and I'm so upset that season three is not, is not happening. I'm really hoping that, like, Amazon or someone else picks it up. Cause it's it's so good. The ending of the of the last season was so good. I was just like, oh my god, why did I finish this? Even though I knew there wasn't going to be a season three. Um, uh, I also have been watching the TV show Young Justice. It's a cartoon based That's off good. of the. Young... It's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, I've been watching that's based on this young superheroes of uh, DC comic books like Robin and all them. But season three has been re- really good. Um, they did recently they tackled a um they they turned one of the main characters into either bisexual or they just turned him gay um but it was it was very like they made it hey this this character has changed sexualities because at first he liked a, he liked a girl and now he in in one scene he was kissing a, a male character straight um, guys can kiss boys they were in a relationship. No, that's pretty gay episode. to me. Boys, and the, and boys can kiss boys. It's fine. I mean, it's anyways, fine, but you're episode, just gay if you do. <laughs> in that same episode, they um, they discussed uh, abuse in the household. Yeah. Like there was a character that was busy being abused by their father. Like when you beat that uh, pussy. No, no, not like that. Oh. Um, at the end of the episode, they even uh, gave out the number for the abuse help hotline. Hello, um, which was police. My dad's beat that pussy up. <laughs> and I thought that was a very good, good story, um, because not a lot of people, because uh, they 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 were on Send Cartoon the Network. Fire and they, department. They definitely wouldn't have. Um, tackled that subject <laughs> Jonas, on I think Cartoon it's, Network. I think it's, Anyways, that's what I'm enjoying. I, um, that's <laughs> cool that they were serious about it. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, they're, they're uh, very serious about it. Um, <laughs> Allison, where, where can they find you? <laughs> um, you can follow me at Allison <laughs> underscore Mulcrone on Instagram, <laughs> and you can also follow me at Allison underscore Fay on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, where can they find you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this call whole episode is a fever you, dream. You, you can find me. Call the police. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> you can find me Kyle C. Kelly underscore <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah uh, what about you Jonas um, you can find me at Jonasy Draws with a Z at the end on all social medias um, you can also follow us at Rough Night po- at Rough Night on Twitter um, yeah Oh no, rough, rough podcast on Twitter. Rough yeah. podcast. On That's Twitter. right. You follow us at rough, rough podcast on Twitter. Uh, you can also email us and let us know your any concerns or comments that you might have yeah. at roughnightpodcast on <laughs> at gmail dot com. Um, 
please guys rate review subscribe to us on itunes uh spotify uh whatever what else are we on it would Sp- help Sp- everything Sp- anywhere that you listen to podcasts we're on yeah. youtube soundcloud you know um actually no okay except soundcloud no. No. i mean we're on well, soundcloud but our newest episodes aren't on soundcloud yeah RJ, you, our, uh, the universe according to Rex and Jonas is on Spotify now. So. I saw that. It took me forever to do because I was lazy. <laughs> you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to start calling the police with how much pussy you'll be beating. <laughs> Can I just? Never mind. What you Are you say? okay, Kyle? Nothing. Are you okay? What's me? going on, Kyle? Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> He's fine. He's cruising. I'm what? You're cruising. You're you're good. You're saying cruising? Yeah. Like uh, for a, for a bruising. Like you're chill, you know. Like you're just riding that wave. Is this Hell a yeah, is this a millennial thing or something? I don't get it. I don't understand what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Well, I am a month and a half older than you, so. Yeah. So. Happy birthday, guys! Kyle. Let's say happy birthday, Kyle. If you haven't said happy birthday to him yet, please say happy birthday to him. And I, Otherwise, if, I go swear to God, fuck if you don't off. say happy birthday to me, you can... Uh, you'll be cruising. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, bitch. Because I'll uh, be bruising that pussy. <laughs> sure. Anyways, bruising guys. That pussy. Uh-uh. Ooh, ooh. Bruising that pussy. Mm-mm. Anyways, uh, Allison... You want to lead us out? See you, cunts. See you, wow, cunts. Wow, that was a very low energy. It's almost like it's like two o'clock for you. Or something See like you, cunts. No, it's almost three o'clock for her. Oh. I'm gonna do an ASMR version. Ready? I've made a mistake. See you, cunts. See I'm you not cunts. doing nice titty girls. Uh, uh, nice titty girl because it's the next season and the next season. That's not a thing. It's off season. Right now. See you, cunts. Yeah. See you, cunts. See, you said see you, right. Yeah, see but she's like whispering it very oh. tiredly. And, and let me know how you like my face. Let me know how my face uh, my, how my mm. face sounded on the podcast, whether you heard the difference or not. Cunts. Okay, I'm stopping. <laughs> I'm stopping. <laughs>